patients with radiation heart disease are different than your conventional valvular disease patients. They have more aggressive valve disease, more aggressive coronary artery disease, and they also tend to have disease of the lining of the heart, otherwise known as the pericardium. Uh, importantly, what we found was their event rate over the long term, about six and a half years follow up, the event rates were twice as much uh, compared to a standard population undergoing similar types of surgery. Does that mean, from a patient perspective, does that mean that if you've had prior radiation, you should never have heart surgery? The answer is clearly no. That is not the message of the paper. Essentially, what this study says that is that these patients are at a higher risk, and risk is a full spectrum. So even within this risk, there could be lower risk, intermediate risk, and higher risk patients. And basically what this means is, there needs to be increased awareness of this problem, steps to increase recognition of this problem, and then developing a strategy of appropriately working up these patients and then subsequent management of these patients. Essentially, what that entails is patients need to seek attention in a uh, experience center where there are cardiologists experienced in this disease process and who can formulate a plan and surgeons who are surgeons and the surgical team who can help manage these patients in the long term. Uh, it is important to understand that uh, multiple testing might be needed in these patients, including echocardiography, coronary angiography, uh, assessment of lung function studies, as well as uh, potentially a CT scan to look at the heart as well as the lungs. Once these studies are done, we can ascertain the degree of risk and develop a plan uh, specific to that given patient. Now the plan could be in a low risk patient surgery or if you are deemed at a higher risk and surgery is not an option, we can think about alternate ways of fixing that valve problem or coronary artery disease using catheters uh, going through the groin. So there is a specific plan for a given patient. It is not one size fits all and everybody needs uh, evaluation in an, a center of expertise and then a specific plan designed for them.